All right, so welcome back to Channel Trading Simplified. Today, I'm gonna to show you quickly how to reinvest your dividends. So no wasting time, let's get right into it. When you're on the Fidelity website, what you're gonna do is you can click Fidelity on the top. It resets the screen just to this. The next step is you're gonna to go to Accounts and Trade, and then you're gonna see Account Features. So I want you to click Account Features. So next, after you click that, you will see it highlighted right here in green and you just scroll down right to brokerage and trading, dividend and capital gains. Next, you're gonna click manage. Now on the screen, you'll see dividends and capital gains. You will see your account that you have listed and the funds that you have invested. Now you will see dividends right here and capital gains. Mine are all set to reinvest in the security, but you just have to hit update to update. So click that. Now the screen will show update distributions and you are able to update your preferences below. As you can see, this is my account listed. It'll say the Fidelity Zero Large Cap Index Fund and I reinvest in the security by clicking the blurbs and filling them up in blue. If I didn't want the dividends to go in reinvested, I would just click deposit to core account and it would just be more cash every time that that stock or ETF or index fund would distribute a dividend. You can also hit the apply all. So you can apply all to any mutual funds that you hold in this account. So every time you buy a different mutual fund, it'll automatically update. But I recommend just checking anyway, just to confirm. And then you just hit update and then you're all set. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you stayed this long, I appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Check out my playlist. I go over my trading P&L in 2024, investing for beginners. Anything Fidelity related with the trading program or the website is under this playlist, Fidelity Active Trader Pro. And then just long-term investments, penny stocks, trading history in 2021, and any investing ideas that are currently happening.